We had a contest of who wants to travel with Roxy, and this is Matt Lopez, my winner. Are you ready? Yes. Do you even know what we're gonna do today? Yes, I do know what we're gonna do today. How, if I don't even know what we're gonna do today? Um. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Raquel Cordova. Many of you know me as Roxy. I'm a free spirit, a natural born adventurer, and I love culture, food, and people everywhere. We're on our way to Mexico. Yes, we are. Are you ready? Mexico, Tijuana to be exact. A border city with more than 1.3 million people. Over 40 million people cross the border between Tijuana and San Diego each year, making this the busiest international border crossing in the world. We are going to a community center here in Tijuana to bless the kids with a van load of toys. We can't wait to share the happiness. The scenery in Tijuana, from beautiful mountains to horrible traffic. It's a city that has it all. We had to make a stop to wait for our guides to arrive and take us to our destination. While we waited, I was hoping that Matt knew how to dance banda, and to my surprise, he did. Well, if you want to call it that. Our guides finally got there and we drove deeper into the Tijuana neighborhoods. The reality of how these people live started to settle in. Yes, they live in hills, but it's definitely not Beverly Hills. Once we arrived to the Sunshine Alegria Outreach Center, I was excited and anxious to share the happiness with the beautiful faces I was about to meet. How can you not melt when you see these little faces? The simplest toys brought such joy to them. Meanwhile, in the United States, Kids are worried about connecting to Wi-Fi. Even Matt got in on the giving action. Giving back, helping, contributing, doing something positive. Meet Gloria. She's one of the founders of Sunshine Alegria Outreach. It's just a great opportunity to come and, and see the other side. <laughs> It seems like the people in this town really crave hugs, quality hugs. It felt like each hug gave them more hope. Ustedes son nuestra gran felicidad, nuestra gran alegría, nuestro gran gozo. I feel thankful for the opportunity of being able to bless these kids and adults with basic necessities. Basic necessities that they get uber excited about, like shampoo, toothpaste, conditioner, body wash, stuff that we have every day in the States and we look at it like, whatever. I understand why these people hold on to God so much because it's like, that's the only thing that could give them hope, God. And one thing I definitely learned is to never wear high heels again on a trip like this. I know people that would never even dare come to a place like this because they're like, oh my God, it's too dangerous. Like, stop being selfish. I will never wear high heels again though. Like, I'm so frustrated with myself that I'm like, why, why are you gonna try to come look cute, Matt? Like, I'm having this dialogue with myself. Like, why am I over here trying to look cute? For all of you out there who are complaining that about your computer screen not being perfect or your phone not being perfect or your TV not being perfect or your fancy clothes not being perfect. Take a look at these children, study them, observe them, understand them, like them, get to know them, and let's see if, you're, if you don't come back a changed person. Because if this doesn't, this, if this doesn't uh, motivate you to count your blessings, then nothing will. 
After an extremely emotional morning, we had to switch it up. So we headed out to Rosarito just a few minutes from Tijuana. 